Hello, and welcome to Fish Tank. I'm your host, Lynette Bochco, and this is my show, Fish Tank, where we just take some time to relax, watch some fish, and talk about stuff that's bothering us. This is the first episode, so I suppose I'll do the normal introductory sort of thing and tell you a bit about myself. As I said, my name is Lynette Bochco, and I'm 27 years old, and I'm doing this as a way to deal with things because paying for therapy is too expensive. Also, I like fish. I currently suffer from severe clinical depression, I've attempted suicide in the past, and I also have rather severe headaches from time to time. I had to throw something in there to make me relatable. Anyway, this is the week of March 2019, and I'm currently being bothered by a few things. The first of which is my mother. She's just moved into the city I live in, with no real reason to be here other than to bother me. And, um, she's succeeding. It's bothersome. I try and stay no contact with her, but it's been hard. Mostly because she refuses to acknowledge the no contact part of our relationship. So yeah. Anyway, she's been calling me non-stop and gaslighting me on a number of issues. None of which I feel very ready to deal with. So that's been upsetting. She's trying to find work, but all she has a resume for is a career in the waitstaff business. Which isn't a bad thing, but it's making her finding work more difficult as all the places she's ever worked are out of state and it makes her seem flighty. She keeps calling me, leaving voicemails, saying she wants to, like, get together and help me pay my rent and stuff. Not that I really need the help, but... I don't know. I wish I could believe her, but I know it's all just a ploy to be able to do one thing for me that she can then lord over me. Shake it around and go, look at what I did. I did this for you and you can't help me with anything. I mean, if you're going to do something for your children, perhaps maybe do it because you know you love your kids and not as a way to earn favors on the back end. Don't make it a selfish contribution, just saying. Also on top of that, my work isn't very fulfilling right now. I mostly am busy doing small projects at the moment. I'm a graphic designer, so just so you have some context. I would like to work on my own stuff, but hey, this is what you gotta do. I'm not really working on anything big at the moment, which has its positives and negatives. Big projects are great, they pay more, they're more rewarding to see through to the end. But small projects also are constant and steady, and they pay regularly, so. On the positive side of things, I actually went to the store and bought every single box of leftover chocolates from Valentine's Day. So now I just have stacks of cardboard hearts filled with candy in my fridge. That's pretty awesome. The guy at the bus stop called me a faggot the other week. That was cool. Some scuzzy looking guy, and I mean at this point I'm not even offended, I'm more like, thank you? Because it's not really a bad thing to be noticed as who I am, so... Still, I don't like to openly participate with others in public especially those of the scum variety, so it was awkward. I've been on all the dating apps, sites, and whatnot, looking for someone to just even go and have dinner with sometime, but I don't have the time, and also I'm, I don't know, I'm just way too self-conscious to start dating again. Monica, that's my ex-girlfriend, things ended so strangely with her that it's made me, like, totally weirded out to try and be with someone else. I'm trying to get over it, but it's hard. Depression tells you a lot of lies about yourself, specifically for me that I'm not worthy of being loved. Maybe because that's what I heard growing up all the time, but yeah. It's a bit hard to unlearn that and stop believing it and be comfortable enough to ask someone out. So okay, that's the first episode of Fish Tank. Um, I know this isn't exactly the most exciting sort of thing to watch or listen to, but Hey, I enjoy spending this time talking about my life to someone I don't have to pay $90 an hour for. At most, I'm paying $50 a month, because, because, you know, my internet bill and stuff. Yeah. Alrighty, until next time, I'm Lynette Bochco, and this has been Fish Tank. I'm just a girl trying to make her life better by wearing a grin and flapping them fins. That, that was so stupid. I apologize.